Commonwealth Bank raises fixed rates yet again. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because I want to have a talk about, well, ComBank raising their rates yet again. Now this was sent to me by a viewer. Let's have a look here. Fixed rate home loans, effective today. A rate change update. Today, ComBank is announcing changes to select fixed rate home loans. These changes are part of our ongoing review of interest rates and current market conditions. They're definitely getting their money out of these emails because we're hearing them again and again. We continually review our interest rates to ensure they remain competitive and meet customer needs. Uh, By putting them up, (laughs) these changes reflect the sustained increase in funding costs. To support customers in a rising rate environment, rate lock may suit your customers' needs. Now, this is written, this is for the brokers. So, rate lock, say you've got you know, you've got a potential uh, guaranteed mortgage and, you know, you pay a fee to lock your rate in. So if the rate go, interest rates go up between when you sign the contract and before you get pre-approval, boom, rate lock. So fixed rate changes. The following changes are effective for new customers and existing customers applying for or switching to a fixed rate home loan, both with and without mortgage advantage package rates from today so we can see here the one-year fixed rate this is owner occupied so principal and interest is up to 2.7 interest only is 3.79 which is unchanged two-year fixed 2.99 up 0.15 three-year up 2.5 i'm sorry up 0.25 to 3.49 four years up 15 basis points to 3.69, five years, up 20 basis points to 3.99. Now remember, how many of you got a a mortgage at 1.99? I got a four-year at 1.99. So you've got to prepare that this is what you'll hit when it expires. And this is investors. They're all up to fixed rate investors, 0.2. And a one-year fixed, so it's a little bit higher. Up 20 points to 2.99. Two years up 20 points to 3.19. Three years, 20 points to 3.69. Four years up 15 points to 3.89. And four years, uh, five years up 20 points to 4.09. Now, the interest-only packages, notice how they didn't go up for any of the owner-occupiers, but for investors, up the most. 20 points, 25 points, 25 points. 20 points, 20 points. So they're still a bit lower there than their five-year fixed. But there you go, 4.19 for four years, 3.89, 3.24, 3.09. Now let's look at the impact of this. Right now, you're going up from a 3.79, I picked five years, 580. That's the, the average mortgage size here in Australia. And if you sign up for it now, your costs... For a month, uh, $66.41. Now, let's change this to 1.99. So you've got a fixed mortgage, and you're going up from that to that, and you've still got 30 years to pay on it. We'll just put all things being equal. But that's a 30% increase in your repayments. Can you afford another $625 a month in mortgage repayments? These are the scenarios that you should be doing, even just rough figures, Just to prepare the next few years, interest rates are going to go up. Are you going to be in a position to handle it? Now, the RBA, if we're seeing here, the number of people that are prepaid on their mortgages, it's right up there. You've got negative equity is down. That's more to do with prices of property. And you've got liquidity buffers for homeowners and indebted homeowners. So the RBA thinks, and some of the banks think, we'll be able to handle handle some rate increases. But remember, all of this has not been affect, affected at all because by the RBA because their cash rate is still sitting at 0.1. It hasn't budged, but interest rates are going up. Let's have a bit of a talk about this one, guys. So, I mean, <laughs> another one. Rates are slowly creeping up. I think we've seen the lowest rates 
at 0.19. It's, I think, 0.69. Some people got, some even got lower than that, depending on your profession and the, your loan-to-value ratio. I mean, good on people if they took advantage of it. But it looks like rates are going to climb up and more people are going to have to deal with it. Now, I've got a poll on my channel right now, and I'll link to it below. Please take part in it. What would you do if the uh, housing prices fell by 30%? Because there are some predictions that that's what will happen with interest rates going up. It'll be interesting to see how few people will actually sell and how many people will be looking to buy. So there's, there's still going to be a lot of demand there for housing. Now, will this tip people over the edge? Well, one thing we want to consider... Look at what happened. We had our first recession for 28 years. What did the government do to stimulate the economy? Home builder. The bodies governing the banks allowed them to give mortgage holidays and report it differently. They didn't have to say all these loans were in arrears. They were in a little special category. So you had mortgage holidays. Then you've got mortgage guarantees of 5 and 2%. And then let's not even forget about JobKeeper. All these things that just racked up the government debt upon debt upon debt. So if we start seeing a correction here, a significant one in housing, I would be shocked if the government wouldn't start intervening. Remember, we've got an election year, everyone. I think, sure, you'll see 5 10%, you know, maybe even 15 maybe even 20 in some areas. But that's still not going to be affordable to most people. And there'll be an army of people wanting to jump in. We'll have to see. I think you need to... Take care of your own house and prepare for this situation. If you're invested and maybe you're a little bit too leveraged, you need to look at it. Plan for worst-case scenarios. And I'm sure most sensible people are. I, I don't know. I, I see things shared on Twitter about, you know, people are shocked at these rate rises, that it's going up. It, I mean, well, what the hell do people think? Do they really think we're going to have such insanely low bullshit rates forever? They were implemented for emergency circumstances. I mean, come on, people, no one trusted that. Did did anyone really believe that we'd have these insanely low rates moving forward? Let let me know in the comments, guys, because people would be kidding themselves. If anyone there is shocked, rates are going up, oh no! If anyone there is shocked that that happens, come on, that's bullshit. You can't be that naive, can you? Oh, maybe, maybe if you work for the APC. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here. There are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon, sign up for Self Wealth or Stake, use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. If you want to support the channel as well, you can buy our merch. Thank you all for watching, and I'll point you to the last video about mortgage increases. I'm going to have to create a pre- playlist of all of these ones. How high do you think interest rates will go? I'm, you know what? I'll do that as the next poll. I'll put it on the community. Link it down below. Let me know your opinion on that, and we'll talk about that in another video. Take care, guys. See you next time. Have a great day.